Is Jeremy Corbyn out of touch with communities like Boston on the subject of unlimited immigration? Jeremy Corbyn, who said uh, famously we need to maintain free movement across our borders, is he out of touch with communities like where we are here in Boston? Rod Liddell. Well, yes, he is, of course. Uh, 78 point, I think it was 78.1 per cent voted in Boston to, to, to leave the European Union, and immigration was a, was a substantial part of that reason. Um, and, of course, 70 per cent of the population, we know from opinion polls, are opposed or want more controls on immigration and more than 50 per cent want immigration stopped entirely. So, yes, of course he's out of touch. I mean, bless the bloke, he's not just out of touch on immigration, if we're absolutely <laughs> honest. Uh, and it's... And it's, it's not just Jeremy. I mean, if you looked at the Labour Party conference this week, you know, and I watched it with despair as that mountain of hypocrisy and self-regard, Diane Abbott, stood up and said that anyone who voted, the people who voted for Brexit were bigots and didn't like the look of foreign people. And you're meant to be reaching out to new voters. That's 52% of the electorate, Diane, who aren't going to vote for you. All right? 52% you've labelled bigots. And then Sharmi Chakrabarti gets up and says, uh, oh, don't leave me alone in this country with Essex, man. And the snobbery and disdain and loathing that the London left in the Labour Party has for ordinary working people is remarkable. The party that was once the party of the Russian party. Richard Bergen. Now, I uh, am on the left. I'm not from London. Uh, I do... I'm from Leeds. I do believe that it's really important that people in Westminster don't patronise people in Boston or anywhere else. So I am totally resistant to any idea of the Westminster elites trying to wriggle out of the message that the British people sent in the European Union referendum. On the subject of immigration. I think we have to understand it's not as simple as sometimes some of the newspapers make out. Immigration can be separated into asylum seekers that we have a duty to assist fleeing death, torture and persecution, immigrants who wish to stay here for the rest of their lives and then the free movement of labour under the European Union. Jeremy Corbyn in his conference speech did address these issues and what some people forget is when Jeremy Corbyn said in his speech and he said it before that he's very concerned about the free movement of labour being used by unscrupulous employers to undercut pay terms and conditions. Tony Blair didn't say much about that. No. Uh, Gordon Brown didn't say much about that so he is alert to that and also the Conservative government abolished the uh, Migration Impact Fund, which is meant to help areas like Boston that have uh, a large share of immigrants coming to it. And Labour, as Jeremy said in his speech the other day, uh, will restore the Migration Impact uh, Fund. So I actually think Jeremy's more alert to And one last thing I'll say on this issue... You that's... think he's in tune with Boston? Well, that's for the people of Boston to decide at the next general election, <laughs> not for me to speak for Boston. But I believe in the bread and butter issues of needing more council houses, needing more affordable homes, need needing a real living wage that is meaningful, needing a situation where your children and grandchildren go to university without being saddled with £30,000 of debt and more. I think he is in touch on those bread and okay. butter issues. You, sir. Um, I, I... I completely, I completely agree with what the gentleman on the, the right said. I don't know your name. Rod uh, Little, this one. Rod. He, uh, the, no, or, not, or not the label. Or Richard. Uh, the one on the right over. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> I completely agree. You mentioned the word about hypocrisy. This is a, a common theme with leftists, very hypocritical people. If you, you, they'll espouse, you've got to be tolerant. You've got to be, you've got to be very tolerant towards everyone. But if, and, and tolerant towards people's views. But if um, they disagree with your views, they're very intolerant towards your own views. Incredibly intolerant. I, I would yes, term, yes. I'm very interested in this, the psychology behind it, with leftists, I would term it uh, under the Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. I would include... Um, 
socialist delusional disorder. <laughs> I, I would put it in the diagnostic of male disorder. David. Because yes. the hypocrisy is unbelievable <laughs> All right. from a lot of people. Can I respond on that? From, okay. from the left side. All right, socialist <laughs> disillusionment. So, uh, disillusionment. <laughs> socialist <laughs> delusional, delusional disorder. disorder. Go on. In, with respect, fix, it mean. does rather sound like a caricature of the Stalinist Soviet Union where people with the wrong political beliefs are being carted away and you've diagnosed as being politically or medically suspect. So I do uh, take objection to that. Yeah, well, you um, will, because you're Labour, aren't you? OK, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen... <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> Stephen...